What is up y'all, Odeed here once again and today I'm going to do something a little different on my YouTube channel. So because of the current state of affairs in the world right now, a lot of people are staying home and they're practicing social distancing and I see a lot of people doing Facebook live stream sets. I'm also part of a group called Facebook Live Sets via Quarantine and I will put a link down in the description so you can join the group. Right now there's over 13,000 members. And I see a lot of people in there, a lot of DJs asking what's the best way to set up my equipment or my phone so that I can get uh, a decent audio and video stream. So I'm going to go through my basic setup right now. Um, this definitely is not the cheapest or easiest way to do it. Uh, I would say the easiest way to probably do it would be just to get your cell phone, get some kind of splitter that will plug into a jack that you have on your cell phone uh, and do it that way and then um, basically connect the audio to your phone directly. That would be the easiest and cheapest way to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it right now. All right, so first and foremost, let me show you guys what I am using to mix with. This is uh, a pair of Technique M5G 1200s, and I have a Pioneer S9 mixer. All right, and here's the back of the mixer, what it looks like. Uh, most mixers these days should have two separate outs, uh, meaning these right here are my main outs, which I am not using, and then these are the auxiliary outs, and then they are quarter inch, and I am coming out of the auxiliary out to send my signal. Although my setup's a little bit different than yours probably, so you're probably gonna have some kind of main out and then you're gonna need a secondary auxiliary out to send the signal to your computer. So the auxiliary outs come out here, and mine actually go into a bigger mixer down on the bottom, but you don't have to do that. All you need to do is have your auxiliary out cables, quarter inch auxiliary outs, um, come out of your mixer, and then I have an external sound card over here. This is a Focusrite 2i2 sound card that I bought off of Amazon, and basically you just take your quarter inch uh, outs that came out of your mixer, put them into the in jacks on the external sound card, and then this uh, USB cable here will connect directly into your computer and you will then have an audio signal going into your computer and this will record your audio. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you could basically get an audio signal into your phone by using a splitter, but one thing that's really cool about this is uh, once you have a setup like this, you can also record your DJ mixes into your computer. So this is the camera that I'm using to stream with. This is a Logitech C922 Pro Stream, by the way. Every uh, gadget that I mention, I will put a link in the description so you can check it out. I paid about 80 bucks for this. Uh, for some reason right now on Amazon, these are not 80 bucks. Uh, so I wouldn't buy one of these. They're very expensive right now. I don't know if Amazon is price gouging due to the situation right now or what, but I will put a link in the description to a different Logitech camera um, that's around $80. As long as you get something that streams at 720p or higher, uh, you should be good to go. Another thing that's very important when you're streaming is your Wi-Fi. Um, if you're not directly connected to your router or your modem, make sure you have a nice strong Wi-Fi speed uh, because even if you have really nice equipment, if your speed is slow, then your stream will probably look and sound bad. Um, you don't need to have uh, upload and download speeds quite this fast, but if your upload could be around 10, uh, you should be good. If you're having problems, you can buy a signal booster, which is what I have here in the studio. And uh, once again, I will put a link in the description on where you can get one of those. Uh, it's made by Netgear, by the way. Uh, and then down here on your setup, this is very important. Um, on mine, I hit Logi Capture. And then your default microphone is not what you want to use from your computer. You want to go to your sound card. And then now, you should be ready to stream. Uh, yeah. So that's about it. That's all you really got to do. So yeah, that is how I not only set up to go live, but that is also how I record uh, my DJ mixes and I just use Adobe Audition CS5 to record my mixes. Uh, and as I mentioned, all of that stuff can be basically bought on Amazon um, or some kind of other like delivery service and then you can have it delivered to your house that way you don't have to go outside. Right now the mail is still running, Amazon is still working. So uh, you can basically support people who are working at Amazon by buying the stuff and you also can still practice social distancing by not going out to buy it. And as I mentioned, not the cheapest way to just basically live stream, but it's a nice way to get a quality audio and a quality video feed going out to like your listeners. And once again, I will put a link in the description to the uh, Facebook Live Quarantine Group so you guys can check it out. My name is Odeed. Peace.